Here are three simple steps that have taken my music from zero to now over 10 million streams on Spotify. Hey, it's John here at Hyped It. I've recently crossed the 10 million stream mark for my songs on Spotify. And so I wanna share the three simple steps that have made this possible for me. They are easy, fast, and something I think pretty much every artist can do. And once you're on to step three, your music actually just grows on autopilot. Let me show you on my screen. There's really just three simple steps to this. Step one, send real and active, engaged listeners to your music on Spotify. And here's what I mean by this. You can see that I cross 10 million streams on Spotify. And if you look up the growth trajectory in a platform like SongStats, for example, which I'm using, you can see that it's pretty much a straight growth line that constantly rises. And that means that I'm getting a constant stream of listeners who check out my music and come back and stream it over and over again. And you might be thinking, John, doesn't this always happen when I promote my music on Spotify? And the answer is no. If you take playlist promotion, for example, oftentimes you'll see something like this. When the promotion starts, all of a sudden you see streams and listeners roll in. And that's because you've now been included on playlists that are getting listeners to them. And so your music is getting exposure, all up until you're being dropped off the playlist again. And when that happens, sadly, everything falls back down to zero. And so with this kind of promotion, it's sort of stop and go. You never get anywhere. You always fall back to zero. And the reason you're falling back to zero is that the listeners who check out your music on a playlist, they are not there for your music. They are there for the playlist. You just happen to be on the playlist. And not only are they not there for your music, a lot of listeners on playlists are also passive listeners, which means they might be listening to a playlist while they're at work or driving a car or at the gym working out. So while they enjoy the music they're listening to, they're not really paying attention to a specific song or specific artists and even if they hear a song they like it's very unlikely that they drop what they're doing just to check out hey who's that artist on spotify and so in my experience it makes a huge difference if you promote your music to a passive audience like with playlists or to an active audience one that constantly comes back to your music listens to it over and over again and then you get this constant growth pattern here. Now your question might be, John, how do I promote my music in a way? And what I can share is how I'm doing it. I love laser targeted music ads on Instagram and Facebook for this. And I love them so much because I can put my music in front of an audience that already loves my genre and sound. The only thing is that they don't know me as an artist yet. But once they discover me, it's so easy for them to fall in love with my music instantly and then come over to Spotify and save my music, repeat, stream it, add it to any playlist that they have and become real active and engaged fans. Now, when I started running Instagram and Facebook ads, this was a relatively complicated process. You had to know all about pixels and conversion APIs and conversion ads and targeting and all those kinds of things. Now, luckily, this is very easy today because there are tools that do all of this automatically. I use Hyped It to run all my campaigns. So you can see them on my dashboard here, the most recent two campaigns that I'm running. And it's very easy. I basically just say, I want to launch a new campaign. Hyped It asked me, what do you want to do? You want to grow a Spotify track, a playlist, your artist profile. I put in my song, a few pieces of information and then hyped it goes out and launches these very complicated ad campaigns all automatically in a matter of seconds i love this saves me a lot of time and ensures all of these campaigns are set up correctly and so with that said let's move on to step number two drive your listeners to a playlist with just your own music on it this has been a real game changer for me so a while ago i created this playlist i called it this is john gold similar to the same format that Spotify has, but you can see here that I created this playlist myself, not Spotify made it for me. And I put some of my best tracks on the playlist. I could have called this playlist best of John Gold or John Gold Essentials. It doesn't really matter. The key here is it's a playlist that only has my music on it. And then whenever I start a new promotion campaign, instead of pointing the traffic towards the song or the release, the album, the EP on Spotify, I always point it to this playlist. And so actually what's neat, if you're using Hyped It and you're using the Grow My Spotify playlist, you can not only generate traffic for your Spotify playlist, but you can literally tell the software which of the songs on the playlist should play first. There are deep links that Hyped It automatically builds. So if a fan comes to the playlist, it'll play that track track that you want fans to check out most first. And the reason why this is such a powerful strategy is that with the playlist of your own music, if the fan just enjoys your music and doesn't do anything else, they automatically listen to another song of yours and then another one and another one. And so what you'll see 
is that every listener you're driving to this playlist is going to turn into many, many streams. In fact, I've tried this with multiple playlists to really prove to me that it's that powerful. So if I take you over into my Spotify for artists, this is the playlist I just show you, but I actually made a few copies of this and also sent traffic to them. And you can see the same pattern over and over again. So over the last 28 days, this playlist drew 2,734 listeners, but these listeners generated 36,231 streams. That is an average of over 13 streams per listener. That is crazy. I don't know any other place on Spotify where you can send a fan and get them to stream your music 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times. So this really works like magic. And it's also easy because you can just create a playlist like this in a few minutes. And actually, if you're wondering how to create an artist playlist like this, let me leave a link above to video where I walk you through those steps. And now that I'm attracting real active and engaged listeners, and I'm driving them to a place that turns them into many, many, many streams, here's step number three. Do this long enough to trigger the algorithm and watch tons of free streams roll in. What I've found with my music is that this strategy has been absolutely amazing at getting my music included on Spotify's algorithmic playlist. And I'm not only talking about release radar, which is more dependent on the time of release, but really also Spotify radio, which can be massive and discover weekly. So if I scroll up over here, you'll see that over the last 28 days, I picked about 60,000 streams from Spotify radio alone, another about 10,000 from Discover Weekly, and you can see the other algorithmic playlists here. And this isn't just for one-off songs. This happens for song after song after song. Now, a great tool to check how close you are for Spotify to include your songs more prominently on Spotify radio or Discover Weekly is the popularity score. The popularity score is something that goes from zero to 100. It's assigned to any song on Spotify and it measures how popular a song is relative to all the other songs on the platform. In my experience, if your popularity score rises somewhere between 20 and 30, this is where you really unlock lots of free streams from Spotify radio and Discover Weekly. An easy way to check your popularity score is with the website Music Stacks. So I went here, I looked up my song, Beat On My Heart. And if you scroll down here, they do show you the popularity score. So this is 37 for this particular song right now. I just come here every once in a while to check how these numbers are changing. And there you have it. Three simple steps to get lots more streams for your music on Spotify. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell icon below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube about how to get more exposure for your music on Spotify. And if you're looking to get the exact click by click instructions for how I've taken my music from zero to now millions of streams, then check out this next clip right here. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Grow Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Grow Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast, and it's extremely easy to set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you want to get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Grow Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.